What is up YouTube and welcome to the first episode of what happened to that NBA player. Today we are going to be looking at Rashad Lewis and why he regressed so quickly. Once an all-star but in his last couple of seasons he had fallen off and coming off the bench for that Le LeBron led Heat team to win him his first championship. A little disclaimer before we start, these videos are just for educational purposes, not to hate on players that have fallen off, gotten injured, or gotten banned from the league. These videos are just to show where they are now or why they did fall off. With that being said, if you like the video, please subscribe and let's get straight into the video. So Rashad Lewis was drafted in 1998, coming straight out of high school with the 32nd pick where he was drafted by the Seattle Supersonics. In his first season with the Sonics, he would only play in 20 games and start in 7 of those 20 games. His rookie year, he would average 2.4 points and 1 rebound per game. And in his very next season with the club or team, he would double those stats, playing in 82 games and starting 8 of them, averaging 8 points per game, 1 assist, and 4 rebounds. So this is where Lewis's career would really shape up and take off. In his third season in the NBA, he would play and start in all 78 games that he played in, almost doubling his scoring average again, scoring 15 points per game, and then for the next 10 seasons, Rashad Lewis would start in every single game he had played in. Peak performances with the Sonics include a 50-point outing in the 2003-2004 season against the Clippers, being named an NBA All-Star that season, and he also holds the record for most three-pointers made by a Sonics player. And after nine seasons with the Seattle Supersonics, Lewis would leave in free agency where he would sign and trade to the Orlando Magic for $118 million for six years. Lewis would switch his position from his usual small forward role to power forward. That first season with the team, he would make 53 more threes than the previous year. Orlando would make the playoffs that season, but would eventually be eliminated in the second round by the Detroit Pistons. In his second season with the Magic, Lewis was the team's second leading scorer. In that same season, he would be named an All-Star for the second time in his career and would also end up defeating the LeBron-led Cavs team in the conference finals of the playoffs to eventually lose to the Kobe-led Lakers. And after Lewis's crazy success in those two seasons, he would be suspended for 10 games in the 2009-2010 season for testing positive for a banned substance. What banned substance? I have no clue. I tried to look it up and I could not find what, it, what he was banned for. Peak performances with the Magic include a trip to the finals and a 30-point game against the Celtics. On December 18, 2010, Lewis was traded to the Wizards for Gilbert Arenas. After the trade for Arenas is where Lewis's career would start to fall off, and we'll see that almost suddenly as soon as he was traded to the Wizards. So after being traded to the Wizards, Lewis would go back to playing his typical small forward and seeing a dramatic dip in points per game. In just 60 games for the team, Lewis would average 9.7 points and 4.9 rebounds and 1.5 assists per game. So this is where everything would start to spiral out of control. And on June 20th, 2012, Lewis was traded to the New Orleans Pelican, uh, Hornets sorry, for Trevor Ariza and Emeka Okafor. Lewis would end up being bought out and then waived by the team. Shortly after being bought out by the New Orleans Hornets, on July 11th, Lewis would sign a two-year deal with the Miami Heat, where he would reunite with his former teammate Ray Allen and finally win a championship. During his two-year stint with the Heat, Lewis would make the finals two times and be a one-time champ, only starting in eight of those games during that second championship run. After his stint with the Heat, he would not be re-signed by the team and would end up getting picked up by the Mavs, but he failed his physical with the Mavs, noting that he would need, need surgery, voiding his contract. So while all NBA greats do, Lewis would go on to play for Ice Cube's Big Three for the team, the Three-Headed Monsters. They went 7-1 but lost the championship game against the team Trilogy. Lewis would be named MVP for that season. So we come to the part of the video where I ask you guys, why do you think Lewis's career would have dropped off so quickly. I believe maybe it dropped off around the time that he got traded for uh, Gilbert Arenas to the Wizards where they put him back to small forward and kind of changed that notion because he was really he was playing solid at power forward 
and then as soon as like they skipped him over or put him back to small forward is where he would really start to decline it kind of seemed like overnight is where he would become a double digit scorer to just like a seventh or eighth man on the bench so if you made it this far into the video, I'd like to say thank you, and this is just the start of something new. I have a bunch of other videos that are going to be coming out after this one, and it will probably be around maybe two videos a month. So just keep posted, turn on my notifications, and subscribe if you do like the video. Thank you.